Hey everyone, I'm 7 First Alert Meteorologist Mike Taylor, and we have more cold that's going to push in, but even a pretty good chance of seeing some snow showers into your Tuesday. So let me take you through this. Uh, once we get into tonight, skies are going to open up a little bit. Winds will still be pretty breezy. It adds a wind chill, but it's not going to keep our temperatures from falling off too much. Still, the single digits look like a fair bet, so we'll have to layer up once again. The layer alert remains. Into your Tuesday, we start off mostly cloudy. Some flurries will be around, but we'll have a better chance of seeing the snow showers into the afternoon. And these snow squalls, as we call them, they can drastically lower visibility and they can ice up the roads fairly quickly. So just a heads up there. This will be a problem for the afternoon as well as the drive home for Tuesday. Once we get into Tuesday, say evening, that's when we'll lose the intensity of the snow, or at least it will settle down a little bit. And those temperatures are going to once again return to the single digits. The wind does not appear to be as strong as we get towards Wednesday, but all in all, it's still going to be cold. So buckle in. We're going to have a couple more days of dealing with some wintry weather. For tonight, eight. <laughs> Best we can do. It's no chance. It will be very cold when you factor in the winds from the southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. But once we get into your Tuesday, the high is only going to be 19. This time of year, we should at least be in the low 40s. That gives you some perspective here. We're about 20, 15 to 20 degrees below average. But we will break that narrative once we get towards the weekend. In fact, we're calling for 40s. We even spring ahead. That gives you a glimmer of hope for the spring being around the corner. And we're talking about chances of rain and not snow. But before we can get there, we'll have to get through the next couple of days with the cold and snow in play. And thanks for joining us here at WXYZ.com to get your forecast information. Next planned update will be by, well, myself. For your Tuesday morning, I'll be in for meteorologist Kevin Jeans.